go weave. Got it. Turn it off. Weave. Yes. Sit. Go weave. This next trick that I'm going to show you is figure eight around your leg. I'll be using Flair here as a demo dog. She's done this trick before, so she kind of knows it fairly well. So you're going to start with several bite-sized treats in each hand. You're going to put your legs in a wide stance so the dog has room to go through, especially if you have a bigger dog. You're going to get, need to get a little bit wider. So you're going to start by putting a treat in between your right thumb and forefinger. You have the dog on your left. You're going to bring the treat down behind you between your legs and lure the dog through and around. And then you're going to bring the left hand down and lure the dog around to finish the eight. So I'm going to start here. Wait. Good. Nice. Good girl. Yes. Good job. Then you'll get another treat in each hand. Good. And eventually you can work so you get it. You don't need to use the treat as a lure. You can add in just the hand signal. Nice, good girl, Flair. The next trick we're going to work on is take a bow. So first, we're going to get some small treats in our hand so we have them ready to go. We're going to have the dog stand in front of us. Uh, put a treat in your right hand. We're going to use it as a lure, pushing from the, into the dog's nose, down and back to get them to fold back uh, as if they're going into a down, but we're going to stop them before that point. So put a cookie in your right hand, push it up against their nose, down and back. And you're going to release right as their elbows touch the ground. Oops, I released a little bit late there. So. Yes. And I used a reward marker there to let her know that was the position. And you want to make sure that you're giving the treat when the dog's still in position. So I gave her the treat before she went into a down. But and then she went into the down afterwards. Stand. 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 Good. Yes. Yes. Good. Good girl. Release. Good. And as you get better at it, you want the dog to hold the position a little bit longer before you release the treat. Yes. Release. And I always try and break them out into a stand before they go into a down because it's really easy for them to keep going into the down. Girl, one more time. And if your dog is laying down, that means you're probably releasing the treat a little bit late or the dog doesn't quite understand how to hold the position. So you can mark and give the treat um, before the elbows hit the ground. Yes. Good girl. The next trick we're going to work on is shake hands. So we're going to start with the dog sitting in front of us. You're going to put a treat in your hand. And what we're going to do is bring the treat down towards the ground so it's low, so that uh, we're going to try and get them to paw at the hand. And you're going to reward any little movement in the foot that you're asking for. I'm going to bring it down. Yes. Good girl. So you can use the word uh, get it so that they know that they can make uh, movement and paw at your foot. Get it. Yes. And then you add in the word that you want it to be eventually with the cue. Get it? Shake. Good. And then eventually you raise it up so they come higher and higher. Shake. Yes. Good girl. Shake. Yes. So the next trick we're going to work on is teaching your dog to hold an object. And um, we're going to use uh, a marker for this. I am going to use the word good because a clicker at this point is 
uh, too many things for me to handle at once. Um, I'm going to use this wooden spoon here. Flair's never seen this before. Um, she does know how to retrieve, um, but using a different object is a whole different ball game. Dogs don't generalize well from one thing to another, so you have to go back steps when you change um, what they're doing. Once they've done a couple different objects, then it gets easier for them to understand um, what you're trying to do. So I'm going to have a couple of treats in my right hand. I'm going to hold the object in my left hand. I'm going to hold it out, and as she goes forward, I'm going to mark her that that's the, what I want and give her a treat. Yes. Her. Yes. Yes. Good. And slowly I'm going to up the ante. I'm going to ask um, now for her to open her mouth and put her teeth around it. Yes. Yes. Good job. And now I'm going to slowly um, <laughs> up the ante again and let it go. Yes. And she already knows how to hold like a dumbbell for a retrieve. Um, so this is going quicker than it might with a dog that's never had to hold anything on cue before. Um, so this usually takes a few different sessions. Um, a lot of times with young dogs, I will start just with the nose touch for an entire session before I up it to the next one. I want to make sure that that foundation is strong. Then I would add in my cue word once she's holding it. Take. Yes. Good girl. Take. Yes. Nice job. All done.